the man to beat me haven't been born yet. This is the business, and y'all ain't getting nothing for free And if you devils play broke, then I'm taking your company You could call it reparations or restitution Lock and load, nigga What's up, folks? Which sack info, bro? Permanent patriot I'm over here on stuff they don't want you to know I was looking up into the Biggie Smalls murder Because it's a really weird murder And, uh, I was also interested because I was watching some Illuminati stuff about similar stuff last night. Now, folks, let me tell you that a lot of the stuff that you hear about the weird shit that goes on with the Illuminati, with the sex shit, and just the weird stories, they're all true. Now... They have what's called in the music industry, or or any industry for that matter, what's called handlers. For instance, Jay Z, he has rappers under him. He is their handler. Above him, they have an enforcer. That's the motherfucker that. Puts your ass in line if you don't do what you're told to do. And they can torture you anywhere from psychologically to physically. And they do some real sick shit that I won't even tell you. You could find out for yourself, I'm sure. And so I'm convinced that this Biggie Smalls murder uh, was... An Illuminati sacrifice. And yes, they absolutely do those. They have people killed. Leah, uh, Left Eye from TLC. Uh, the reason I, I wanted to talk about this today was because of this. This is, uh, well, it says stoppoliticalassassinations.com, but I mean, you see, there's different ones here. Now, this is the one right here, StopSciWar.com. It's the same page, but there's just a hell of a lot more shit on it. Uh, the reason why I'm over here on this one is because this is where they have the uh, assassinations list. And I just I wanted to show you something. So this has all the assassinations and uh, you can see what happened to them. A lot of people just straight up disappeared, never to be seen again. Um, but what I wanted to show you is this up here. Now. Get ready for another shocker, folks. I'm about to go crazy again. <laughs> folks, they have what's called covert electronic warfare. Go and look into this. They've got microwave weapons. They've got laser beams. The shit you saw in Star Trek, they've got it. The shit you see in Star Wars, they got it. Now... Back when Kennedy was killed, everybody was talking about this uh, ice bullet, a bullet made out of ice that hit uh, it hits you and no trace because as soon as it goes in your body, it melts. And uh, so that was then. And they wouldn't admit to that, but they did admit that they had a heart attack gun. So, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm lying again, right? Heart attack gun. <laughs> That's a good one, Wix. That's a good one. Well, I don't work for the CIA. Uh, also, I had to find, one time they wanted me to find, um, to find out if there was such a thing as, um, as a poison that was undetectable. 
especially one that seemed to uh, mimic a heart attack that would kill someone, but it would it appear that they had a heart attack. I did find such a thing. Does this pistol uh, fire the dart? Yes, it does, Mr. Chairman, and a special one was developed which potentially would be able to uh, enter the target without perception. The, the poison was frozen into some sort of dart, and then it was shot at uh, very high speed into the person, so at, when it reached the person, it would melt inside them, and the only thing would be like one little tiny red dot on their body, which was hard to detect. There wouldn't be a needle left or anything like that in Wow! What a shocker! Ted wasn't lying. He was right again. I just... Yeah. Now, this is back in the day. Imagine the shit that they got now. Now, look here. It says, Tim Russert, the, you know, the journalist, who you know, I think I thought was a pretty decent guy. I don't know. I never watched that fucking fake news network, so I wouldn't know. Says he had a heart attack at 58 in his office, and that uh, they suspect he was killed by a covert electronic. It might have been a covert assassination, because the guy was real healthy, and there's no reason why he could just keel over at work. So, you know, every time somebody dies. And, and look at, he was a liberal. <laughs> and every time somebody dies, you know, everybody's going to say, just like when there's a, an attack, everybody's like, oh, false flag, false flag. Check out here also. Between 2006 and June 13th of 2008, nobody was killed. About this time right here, Barack Obama was just becoming president, which means all of these people he either had murdered or they just died. Or did they? I bring you to Miss Gabby Giffords. The co fucking congresswoman who got shot point blank in the fucking back of the head. Like the first or the second night that she was shot. Her good friend, Joe Biden. Hey, you ever heard of Joe Biden? You know who Joe Biden is? Have you ever met Joe Biden, E.T.? <laughs> uh, I got a video called Have You Ever Met Joe Biden? Well, E.T. Williams does. But So, Joe Biden comes on and he says, he says on television that she's been mortally wounded. She's dead. That's what mortal means. She's been mortally wounded. Meaning she's dead. Three times as many times as he did. Think about what happened out in where Gabby Gifford, my good friend, was shot and mortally wounded. Think about when that young man had to try to change the clip. Had he only had a 10 round clip when he changed the clip and fumbled and had it knocked out of his hands, how many more people would have been alive? Can you tell me why the fuck I saw her? in the fucking Senate chambers talking about stricter gun control basically saying hand over all your guns without saying hand over all your guns speaking is difficult but I need to say something important violence is a big problem too many children are dying. Too many children. We must do 
something. It will be hard, but the time is now. You must act. Be bold, be courageous. Americans are counting on. And I'll tell you another thing. Oh, you didn't, oh, no, you wouldn't have came across that because it wasn't in your news. But if you look into this and follow the story, if you go back now and look at it and read the story now, you'd be like, oh, shit. Okay, so somebody was lying, number one. Number two, the bitch is alive or the bitch is dead. Again, someone's lying. Uh, you know, it's a huge thing being dead and being not dead. It makes a huge impact on a lot of people. Now, this bitch is up here speaking like she's all retarded and shit. I got blood. You, you need to have stricter gun control. Like... She, she's doing the most horrible acting job of a retarded voice, a retarded person that I've ever heard. You can hear her fucking, like, skipping in and out and stuff, and it, there's, I mean, if you listen to the video, go listen to the video of her uh, giving a speech on gun control after she was shot, and you'll see. You'd be like, get the fuck out of here. What is she kidding? And another thing, which a lot of people out there are saying, I'm not saying it, but a lot of people are saying that that's not even her. That's not her speaking. I like, and I, and still, I don't know if she's dead or alive. I know that there's some woman in fucking Senate named Gabby Giffords who was shot in the head. But then again, I mean, I never heard of her. I don't keep up on her. You know when I heard of her? The day she was shot. That's when I heard of her. Now, something is not right here. I urge this to be looked into. There's definitely a rotten fucking fish in there. Now look at the rest of the people that your fucking war criminal and chief has fucking killed. And look at the stuff that they alleged that they think it might be. You know, covert electronic psychological warfare. Hello? They don't just fucking think these names up. So I'm going to be doing more on this. You could bet that I'm going to be doing more on even more government corruption. Anybody out there that's screwing the people and getting by on people and playing with people's fucking heads, your days are numbered. That's for damn sure. You folks have a good day. Check out 21frontline.com. Check out masterofmanythings.com. God bless and carry on.